today is the day. I'm gonna go get a cup of coffee, and I'm gonna put a VR headset on my head, and I'm not gonna take it off for 24 hours. Here, we record so I can do a funny walk. The Black Lab likes the ball, and I like that fat ass. I have a boyfriend, and he's standing right there. That's a lot of farts. Five, four, four, three, two. Okay, first and foremost, warning! Do not do this. Please. It was not until after I took the headset off, after the experiment, that I started to experience a lot of adverse effects and reactions to being in a headset for that long. So disclaimer now, do not attempt to do this. I did it for you, so you don't have to. Things such as eye problems, but mostly if you're someone like me and you get immersed really easily. If you have anxiety or any other mental hindrances like depression, this experiment also displayed that this can be a little bit of an accelerator, so please be very careful when you spend lots of time in VR. That being said, here's why. 30 seconds and then it's going on. And then I cannot take the headset off until 12.53 tomorrow in the afternoon. Five, four, three, goodbye, two, one, and it is on. I failed. <laughs> I failed this challenge five minutes in, but it's not for the reason that you think. My ISP shut off my internet. <laughs> Mission failed, we'll get them next time, everybody. We didn't even make it freaking five minutes. But this was gonna cause an issue. What if my stream went down while the challenge was going on? And luckily this only happened one other time in a 20 hour chunk and the last four hour chunk. You'll just have to trust that I kept the headset on. Try number two, that finger cross. Dick cross. 10, nine, eight, seven. What will I be playing? I'll be living my damn life. Listen, if you want entertainment, this might not be it. I'm just living my, oh, here I go. Now to get this challenge started, we had to get used to this virtual world. We had to adjust ourselves in multiple rooms, figure out what the play space was, get acclimated to my invisible boundaries, because I was going to exist in this space for the next 24 hours. To get started and to test all this out, I couldn't help myself, so we went to a couple worlds that I thought were really neat. Oh, hold on. <laughs> This is not- he's like, what, dude? What's the matter? <laughs> this whole city must be purged. Here we go. Here we go. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> this is a rocket launcher. Oh. Okay. But it was time to get my day started. And I had this wacky idea that if I was gonna do 24 hours of VR, I might as well try to keep it as much like my real life as possible. Get up, I get coffee, and I take my dog for a walk, go to the dog park. I'm gonna go somewhere where I can find a dog park and a coffee shop. Ah! Doggy! Oh, they love sticks. Give me that, give me your stick. Oh my God, this is the most adorable thing. This is the most adorable, here you go, buddy. You can also throw it, and it any, any will catch it. I know I can throw it! That stick, the black lab likes the ball, and I like that fat ass! I have a boyfriend, and he's standing right there. Yeah. Let me see what dump truck you're working with. Heck yeah, Alexander! <laughs> So are you guys here on a date? Now this was gonna be my first encounter with real people on the internet in VR. It's also where I created my first real memory. And I say real memory very specifically because of the how the experiment went and what my brain was doing while the headset was on. When I was petting these dogs on this map with these other people, obviously I didn't feel like I was touching fur on a dog. However, it was programmed well enough for my brain to perceive that what I was doing was a real thing. And I remember having a very strong 
emotional response and sensation in my body that I was petting these sweet dogs. And now it's time to go get some coffee, both real and virtual at the same time. I was trying to make this very immersive, so I had my helper brought me some coffee, went, got some digital coffee, and this was the first time that I had uh, my first stream sniper, which wasn't really a stream sniper because I wanted this to be as immersive and real as possible, so every room that I went in, I left public, I left open. I, I wanted to meet and interact with as many people as possible. Just assumed the social responsibility of being there and another person being there and wanting my attention. So we ended up having a pretty good conversation. Actually, these prices are reasonable. I mean, I'm in Seattle, so like a coffee can easily cost $7. So you're, you're all about positivity? Yes. What, would you say that that defines you as a person? It's tough to say, but I would say, yeah. I do think positivity is one of the key things that I wa rather stick to. Okay. Although, of course, every person has obviously their downsides, and it obviously comes to a time to when people will break eventually, but then it's also the right to, the key to just get back up. Mm -hmm. And I have been having uh, lately as well, been kind of going down, but still trying to push back up and yeah so you're aware of what yeah. your your downsides are though yeah 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 good 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 yeah like i got downsides too man life. a lot of people think that i'm just positive yeah. all the time too but i definitely have have uh flaws as well like my biggest yeah. flaw is i fart every time i eat watermelon every single time okay and i don't okay. know why like i i don't have a clue it's just like the worst thing about me really yeah yeah. Now all VR games are not made equal. This RPG game that we tried made me so freaking sick. Right. We don't need healers with skills what? like this. You're I right. have dishonored my family. <laughs> 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 <Don't do that. laughs> there they go. To adventure. <laughs> It's like not frame rating correctly. It's making me kind of sick. I don't want to get sick now. If I puke, I puke. That's <laughs> just the experiment. But you could do other cool things like learn to fly. Things you can't do in real life. But with the power of your brain and the technology, you can feel like you did. Damn. How did... How does he do it? Exactly what I thought was gonna happen. Jump off the edge. Jump off and the edge. Jump off the edge. <laughs> <laughs> now it was time to go somewhere in VR where everyone knows you're either gonna have a bad time or a great time. What's up, Yezal? I need some food. Excuse me. I don't have any money. I was gonna pay with my credit card. You want me to go in there? Okay, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I'll do as you ask. Hold on, I'll go. Can we go up to the counter? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go. All right, what do you, do you want food? I don't understand what you're asking me. Goku, wait your turn. Goku, you sound younger than I thought you were. Oh. This is hey, the weirdest situation. Me, this is the weirdest this thing I've ever been up. I guess I'll find a table to sit at. This is the weirdest thing I have ever been a part of. Chat. What is... Oh, I'm still... You're still sticking me up with your gun. Oh, you want me to go over there? Okay, we can sit at the table. That's okay. All right, come on. Let's go. All right, we're... Okay. Where? Where do you want to sit? That one? Okay, not a problem. All right, let me put down your Happy Meal. Okay. Slide into the booth. That was all you needed? Okay. All right, I'm gonna enjoy the food. God, what is happening, chat? Chat, what is happening? Creepy smiley face, just got here now scared. I have no idea what's going on. Somebody just pointed a gun at me. And now they want me to eat the food on this tray. I mean, it looks... I, I, I... <laughs> Open my mouth? 
That tastes like pre-workout. Mmm. Wait, can you can you put some can you stick it in my mouth one more time? Can you stick it in my mouth one more time? That's immersion. It's really good. Look, French fry. Num 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 num. <laughs> oh, but he's gone. Uh, Where's uh, some beer? Ah! <laughs> Okay, what do you want, Goku? Beer. You want beer? Don't ask mm -hmm. for beer and then oo-woo me with your pointed fingers. Oh, oo -woo. <laughs> oh my god! Serby, oh, are you the manager? Are you the manager? You're the manager. You're the ma you had a gun pointed at me a couple minutes ago. That's not what manager actually Where do you that's get these? That's a pretty damn good oh, manager. No, no. Okay, Goku, I'm out of here. Where the frick is Kazan? That was about early afternoon, eh, two hours into the stream, and you guys know that fitness is a big part of my life. It's a big part of the channel, and I wasn't about to take a day off, so it was time to work out. But I wondered, could I get anybody to do it with me? Strangers, people I've never met before, to take a fitness class run by me in the virtual world. You need some muscles, dude? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, dude. I mean, do you want to come? Do you want to do a fitness class? Yeah, man. All right. All right, cool. Let's go do a fitness class. Let's do it. The answer is yes. Very much yes. Straight into 20 push-ups. All right. Wait, 20 push-ups. 20 push-ups. Here we go. Straight into it. No rest. Gotta keep up. All right, 20 of these things. Here we go. One, two, one, three, two. Oh, yeah, three, get right in my ear. Whisper in my ear while you're pushing up. <laughs> All right, take a break, take a breather. Take a breather, how we feeling? Pika Blue, how we doing? Hey. Yeah, we're getting fit as fuck. You're gonna have fucking huge biceps, dump truck ass, 12 abs. You're gonna have more abs than what is anatomically possible at the end of this workout. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's get it. Dig deep. Love it. Let's see the hamstrings. Yeah. yeah, you even got, look, hamstring sweep. Hammies, hammies, hammies. Glutes, glutes. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Arms go up. Body weight. Straight down. Knees all the way. Bent. Like, get down. Get God, deep. Get deep. Do you want a big dump truck down. ass or not? Get deep. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Listen, I got something to tell you. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong what with looking up my OnlyFans. Oh, this is, there's nothing <laughs> wrong <laughs> with it. <laughs> You're naked, though. You're naked. I'm not naked. Look. All right, fine. I'll beatbox you guys dance, okay? You ready? Okay, okay. <laughs> Now is probably a good time to tell you that I have a mild phobia of open water, and so a lot of these maps were a challenge for me. So this was going to be a big step for me, and also the place where I was going to sleep tonight. In the virtual world, and in the real world. Oh my goodness gracious, it's a large animal. Holy cow, this is pretty. Wow. It's just this one thing. It's still really pretty. Oh, you can go in the water. It's a mermaid. Hi, mermaid. It's a real mermaid. Can we touch hands on the glass? It's mermaid? A mermaid. Mermaid. Wow, it's a oh real gosh. mermaid. It's a mermaid. Yo, Pikachu. Yo, Pikachu, you got looking buff, bro. Kind of buff. Are that. you kidding me right now? Look at this. Ah! <laughs> oh, yeah. Flex it off. Let's see. Yeah. Give me some. No! Now, we are quickly approaching the number one question that I got during the live stream. And what's on your mind? I know what's on your mind. And that is how does it go to the bathroom? Well, it's kind of gross. Uh, it is what it is. But the cable is long enough for me to take the headset into the bathroom. So I just walked blindly, touching the walls, into the bathroom, used it with the headset still on me, 
But I know some of you will appreciate the dedication and realism to the experiment. This is just a shower. I need to use the bathroom. This is a shower. This is this was a poor choice. Gamer bathroom. This is gonna be a bad choice too. No, 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 no. This is not a gamer epic. Oh my god, no, this is not an epic gamer bathroom. Get me the heck out of here as fast as possible. Go. I need to go to the bathroom. Where? I feel like I'm in the right kind of area. Go straight? Okay. Alright, chat. I'm leaving your chat. I think I found it. I think I found it. Ow! Oh, ouch! Oh, ow! Oh, my neck's caught on something. Is the cable good? Alright, I'm trusting you. There it is. I actually... No, cable's not good. Alright, is it good? Alright, cool. Alright. It's you, oh. Ow. Ow. Where is it? Where am I? Where am I? <laughs> uh. And now I'm coming back. Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? Well, I pooped, and now it's time to eat again. It was lunchtime, and we had such a great experience in VR chat earlier. Why not head back there? Do we go to a Korean restaurant, or do we go to Femboy Hooters? <sighs> um, hello? Damn, you looking thick as fuck! Thank you. Thank you, please. No touching. So, why are you here? That's a good fucking question. Honestly, I'm gonna ask you the same thing. I lost a bet. <laughs> do, I'm sorry, do you live with hyenas? Yes, I do, matter of fact. I, I could be. I'm gonna go find a table and eat some food. So you're welcome to join me if you want, but like, I'm hungry, I gotta eat some food. Why can't I, yeah, seat me right where I need to be. Okay, perfect. No, what is happening here? <laughs> I can, I I'm, I'm seating. I'm sitting over here now. Sorry. I guess I'm seated right over here now. Okay. Something's happening. Somebody's bringing me my food right now. What is this? What is it? Oh, it's delicious. Oh my god. It's delicious. Where's my hand? I can eat it myself. Yeah. I can I can eat chicken myself. What's going on? What have you been drinking tonight? Uh I got me fired by whiskey. Fireball? Damn, somebody looking to party. Hell yeah. What's the deal with the outfit? I don't know. I like big tits, I guess. Do you like big tits? Who doesn't? I mean, I like reasonable tits. We got some more visitors for Femboy Hooters. Hello, 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 hello. Hello. Oh. You haven't done drugs before? No. Hey, chick. No. No. We're not doing oh, this. Yeah. So me, it's the drug He's a talking. child! Um, He's a child! Where you came, Femboy Hooters, wanted to see some titties. Wrong place to begin with. Yeah. There's a lot easier places to see them. Man, this is bringing back such- This is bringing back them, such though. memories. I used to- I used to live in oh. Leeds for a year. And oh, Leeds. Again, again, yeah. I'm gonna say the same thing. Shit hole. Oh, man, 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 man. See some tiggle bitties. No, we can't. No, I'm just, no. Yeah. no, shut no. the fuck up. You are ruining this for me. Yes. Okay, I Bro. gotta go. I gotta go before anything gets really bad or weird. I gotta... <sighs> I hate it here. I hate it. I hate this. Hi. <laughs> I... Sorry about that. Aware of. I... There was... I gotta go. This is bad. Stay. Stay? Where are you, chicken dicks? Alright. I feel compelled to stay now. <clears throat> I feel like I need to wow. stay. <laughs> You're always welcome at Femboy Hooters. Um... Always. I hate this so much! Appreciate you know, that's that. That's why we're using our special sauce inside. Uh, boogers? <laughs> yeah. What else do you use in the special sauce? Um, 
You don't want to know. No, I do want to know. That's why I'm asking. Oh, come. Awesome. <laughs> Jimmy? <laughs> We should, we should totally make oh that place. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm so sorry, chat. Chat, I'm so sorry. That was ridiculous. That was kids with the internet access. Uh, that was... That was definitely something. Don't look okay. behind you. <laughs> like... No, I'd say honestly, I'm joking. Okay. All right, thank God. Hi, what do you what do you need? What do you need? She wants your tail. What do you you want my tail? I don't yeah. think that's appropriate. Oh God. I don't think that's this appropriate. Look good from this angle. Yeah, I don't I don't really like it. No, uh, you're stroking my head right now, and you're you oh want you want my face in your face? You. You want? I'm so chat. Can we make sense of any of this? What do you think about this? I'm gonna what eat you your eyeballs. This? You're gonna eat my. Okay, Ooh, that's what okay. we were getting at this whole time. <laughs> Lady D, what? down here. Oh, never mind. Oh. Lady D. That's a really shiny. shiny. What? Will you will yeah, you I'm sit on me? Give me one second, please. One second. Lady D, <laughs> Lady D. You dropped it, man. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, this is so great. I can do extra. I can do extra. Extra? Okay. There you go. Thank you. There it is. Capiche? Capiche? This is. No. Franco? No. <laughs> no. It was the first thing it came no to No losses. No losses. <laughs> After dealing with whatever the heck that was, I decided to pass a little time by asking people in my Twitch chat where they lived. We opened Google Maps VR, and I got a chance to connect with my viewers in a way that I didn't think was possible. I walked down the streets that they grew up on, I shared parts of their lives with them. It was actually a pretty memorable part of the stream and the experience and the experiment. Looks a lot like the UK, actually. Wow, pretty. <laughs> McDonald's. Wit to me. Man, I wish I could visit everywhere in the whole world. Germany. Uh, 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 uh. Let's go eat some strudel. God, look at this. Look at this. I can go touch this guy's freaking car, dude. This isn't a real place, man. This is wild. Ooh, this isn't real, man. What the heck? This is crazy. You guys ready for the reveal? Wow. Oh, I just felt really sick. Oh, my God. Now, after I got done traveling around the world, I decided to do what I did every Thursday night, which is when I streamed this on Twitch, and I decided to watch Critical Role on twitch.tv slash Critical Role, one of my favorite D&D &D games that's streamed every week and that just ended, so it's officially over, which means it's time for me to run one on Twitch, I think. It's about time. <laughs> and so I launched a program called Big Screen, where we got to hang out in a room and watch it on a screen, virtually, on a screen, on Twitch. I don't even, I can't even, I'll just move on. That we Can we just go made. straight up? Can we fly down here? That's gonna yeah, be a... <sighs> it was also a nice change of pace because I felt like I didn't have to entertain my viewers so much for the next three or four hours. I got to just hang out and forget I was even streaming. It's like you were hanging out in the living room with me. I was getting sleepy at this point. I don't know if it was because of the eye strain from being in a headset for so long or what, but I was getting kind of nervous because... I've never slept on stream, first of all. I've never slept in a VR headset, and I've most certainly never done both of those things at the same time. So was I was I even going to be able to get any sleep? We're gonna find out. Waiting for the mouth breathing? Yeah, are you here for it? So I have figured out how to make everything perfect 
We just need the camera running and everything. Oh my god, I can't even explain to you, chat, how good this feels. Why Why did this take so much out of me? I just never thought VR would be so intense. Pop 2 melatonin, that's a dangerous game. You about to fall asleep quick. Creep cam is back. Is it back? Am I getting fucking burrito rolled right now on camera? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> I'm getting tucked. It's kind of ticklish. You know what's even more weird is I have no idea what my camera looks like. Like I have no fucking clue what I look like right now. It looks good and that's enough info? That's worrying. The cutest goddamn burrito I've ever seen. The music, the fish, the, the weight of the headset on my head. These are things that are gonna be burned into my mind forever. And after a couple sub-notifications and things coming through and waking me up, because I'm a really light sleeper. About three hours into getting a little bit of rest, I got raided by my good friend, John Sandman, also one of my personal training clients. And he brought about 500 people into the stream of me sleeping. Normally, you'd be pretty enthusiastic if you got raided with like a thousand people coming over. Uh, but I think you can understand my lack of enthusiasm. <laughs> That's a lot of farts. Still farting. Oh my god. Yo, Kugo! Five dollars, Kugo. John just raided you. Say thank you, John. Also a jolly on VR chat so he can come lull you to sleep. Thank you, sleepy boy. Jolly llama, thanks for five. Somebody just raided me. Hold on. I'll go find my hand. Okay. Hello, chat. Oh my god. John, what's good, brother? How's your night go? How's your night? Why do you fart so much? Sorry. Uh, woke up again in the middle of the night, though, because I had to pee. I had to pee, baby! But that's not the troubling part. It's what happened after I came back to pee. It was the first time during this experiment where... I remember talking to Ellie and just saying, I don't know if I could do this. Hour, what are we, hour 12? This is intense. I'm not sure if I was ready for this. Sore around the eyes, for sure. Eye sockets, uh, forehead, temple areas, sore. Definitely whenever I open, close my eyes and seeing the world, Fish and stuff. Every time I do that, definitely some vertigo action. Flush your nutter. Okay, we managed to flush the toilet. Good job, me. Oh, I am sensing a human being. Hey, can you do me a favor? Or oh, can we stop, take a pit stop at the fridge? Those blueberries? Oh, that's amazing. I gotta be honest with you, Ellie. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. This is way harder than I thought it was gonna be. Can I get a little more uh, enthusiasm out of you? Can I get some enthusiasm out of you? Yo, I want some enthusiasm. I'm like having an out of body experience right now. What's up? What's up? Oh, I wasn't talking. Oh, uh, when people when people subscribe or donate or something, it's. <laughs> It's a clip of me saying, can I get some enthusiasm out of you? So I was just repeating it out. I'm sorry. Uh, now I sound like a D-bag. I got somebody helping me, doing everything for me, and I'm just like, can I get some fucking enthusiasm? Can I get some excitement out of you? I've sl we've slept for one hour. My hands are all fucking... Oh, well, would you look at that? I, I almost threw it away. I almost decided it's over, dude. But look at that, I got the chat working. 
Here's a fascinating thing. Ellie, you know what's crazy? I have no idea what I'm tasting right now. Like, when you said, here's some blueberries, I could feel the blueberries, and then I tasted blueberries. It was blueberry. 100%. Yeah. At this bar, protein bar, I could not tell you what flavor this was. It's just a bunch of weird sensations in my mouth, and I have no idea what I'm tasting. My sensor, my, I feel like all my senses are getting weird. It's uncomfortable. I was starting to feel sick. When my eyes opened and I didn't see real life, when my brain is used to opening my eyes and seeing real life, and I just see an aquarium, I felt motion sick. Everything felt like it wasn't adjusted anymore. My sense of reality was, was warping. It really was like warping. My brain was making a lot of connections, or trying to make connections that weren't there anymore. I felt terrible. I don't know how else to describe it. I felt terrible, and I really thought about quitting. Well, that's not the kind of person I am, for better or for worse. If something is difficult or hard, I just have to do it. It's not a matter of how it makes me feel, so I decided to power through and go back to bed and close my eyes and not throw up. <laughs> when I woke up in the actual morning, I didn't expect real life this time, and everything was normal again. My body had adjusted, uh, the fish, the music, the headset way, everything started to feel like new normal. My brain just knew that when I opened my eyes, it wouldn't see the apartment. It would see an aquarium. Duh. I've made those connections. I mean, that's where I was. Wasn't I? <gasps> oh my god! I just got given a coffee. I just got given a coffee. I just got given a straw. I just got given a straw. Your, your microphone's kind of broken. Can you go away? Can you... Can you go, like, go over there? And yet, four hours left. Four. And there I was, starting my day again, the same way I did yesterday. Day two of my new life, according to my brain. I decided to keep my enthusiasm and my excitement for making it through the last four hours by playing a game I was really excited to play for a while, Half-Life Alex. Huge Half-Life fan. It's what got me into PC gaming. I still have all the original disc sets for all of the Half-Life pre-Steam even existing. And my strategy to play something and save something exciting for the tail end of the stream to power through was a huge success. Oh man, did this work perfectly. I was engaged, everything was exciting, time flew by. And having the headset on got easier and easier, not harder. During this game, I realized I was way less scared of open water than I was of zombies. I couldn't even- <laughs> Don't panic military! Hi, I'm Kugo, and welcome to the No Panic Military! <laughs> Jesus Christ! This is the world! I just hit myself in the face with something! Oh my god, okay. Welcome to the No Panic Military training course. I will be your instructor, Kujo Jijini! And I promise you, you stick with me, you're gonna be all right. You stick with me, you're gonna be all right. Oh my god! You stick with me, you're gonna be all right. Just stay. Just, just. Get it done. Just get it done. Just get it done. We're gonna do some more. Is that something dark I can climb up into? Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing! I'm done with gardening! Ah, it's too hard! Damn it! Yeah. This is, oh, I'm so sorry! This feels way too real. This is... I can't even... Oh! Oh 
I can't believe this technology exists. Oh! Karen! It's me, Karen! Karen! <sighs> what a bitch. Um, little grubby man? Um, I don't know if... You're, hey, grubby. Hey, grubby. Are you okay, little grubby? Oh, I don't want to do anything bad to the grubby. Okay. Oh, no, grubby! <laughs> I'm not a bad shot. I can survive in the apocalypse. I can survive in the apocalypse. Watch this. Bop, bop. Done. I can survive in the apocalypse. Watch this. Bop, 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 bop. bop. Oh, no. No, no, no. Bop, bop. Woo! Action hero. I'm a motherfucking action hero. Drive by, motherfucker. See you later. Oh, fuck. I got myself into a really shitty situation right here. Oh, man. Oh, oh shit. Oh! Oh, I'm shooting him. Oh, my Ace. God. I'm the I'm a fucking action hero. About what a oh, gun oh. This is. Milk. Just milk. Stay there. I'll pick you up in a sec. God damn. Okay, so, bop, bop, bop. oh shit. Don't scare me like that. Next generation, John Wick 360. Explosion! <laughs> I just broke it. What's up, guys? This is as real as it gets. It feels real, man. Especially after being in the headset for 24 hours, you know what I'm saying? Man, you gotta finish this now? Okay. I'm just gonna spin around and throw my boogers in a direction in the room. Three, two, one. I I have no idea where I threw my boogers, but they are now in the room somewhere. And now I am here. Anybody need some ah! milk? Ah! I just have milk. I just have some milk. Ah! Ah! Yep, there it is. Found him. I think he's lactose intolerant. And I don't know if it was my brain continuing to adapt to make this new world feel more real to me, or whether Half-Life Alex really is just such a technological advancement in gaming that it led for a double whammy on immersion. And it was terrifying. And just like that, 20 minutes left. 20 minutes, not hours, minutes. And I didn't feel a freaking thing anymore. I was in the zone. This thing wasn't even on me anymore. I was just existing. But I wanted to make this last few moments special. So we went back into VR chat. I had all my mods come and hang out with me, friends. I'm about to take my headset off. <laughs> All right. Can really climb on my controllers. Chat, I love you. Thank you for being here for this. All right. It was time. Whoa. Oh yeah. Now we're doing 48 hours. Let's go. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> I looked like shit! <laughs> to be honest, I could have just left the headset on. I really could have. Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so what's up, guys? Christ. So what's up? <laughs>
Do you guys wanna do you guys wanna go do another map? Let's go do another map. Yeah, 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 let's go. Let's go. Wait, 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 wait. You know what's weird? That does feel more real to me at this point. It's super weird. Okay. Alright, everybody come in. Give me a hug. Everybody group hug. Group hug me. Group hug me. Group hug me. Everybody in. Because there I know you love hugs. Get the fuck in here. Get your slippery ass slippery body in mom. here. Because there I get the fuck in here. Get the fuck in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I love you guys. Thanks for coming in at the end. I really Remember, don't want this on my face anymore. Smile and stay mighty. I didn't feel fatigued anymore. My eyes didn't feel strained. Everything was fine. I was fine. I could have kept playing. In that moment, it made me wonder, like, how much longer could I go? Do I go longer? I was fucking stoked. I was like, I did it. It was not easy. It was hard. But I did it. Not many people can say that they did what I did. And that makes me feel good, makes me feel proud. One might think, all right, nice job. Good job, you did it. That's the end of the video, congratulations. But what I experienced after the stream was over for the next two to three days, side effects that I would consider pretty serious. And I realized after I got out of there that being in that headset any longer could could have, may have had very ca catastrophic consequences. During the stream, things like smell and taste started to go by meal two, three, four. Food started to become weird warped sensations of the extremes of what made them up. Something that had fat in it turned into this weird fatty mess. Something that was sugary just tasted like tingles. It's hard to really explain. It's almost like any taste or smell, you run it through like a condenser that condenses all the flavors or the smells. And then you take that hyper condensed version of it and have a lab make a fake version of it. And then it reversed and had the same effect after I was done being in VR. Smells were crazy vivid and almost new. There were dimensions to smells that I didn't notice. I don't remember noticing when I was out of the headset. Taste, everything had these extreme, slightly different multi-layered versions of the flavors and tastes that I remember from before. Everything was really strange. Now, sensory sort of effects like that, pretty harmless, whatever, tastes, you know, it's, it's fine, not gonna affect your health at all. But eyes, oh eyes. Day one after being in the headset, it always felt like I was holding forward on the pad, so my eyes were constantly getting closer to stuff in the distance and in the background, always focusing in around where the eye cups were. And this went on, it was serious for the first day to the point where I really had to lay down and take some breaks. Second day, it was still slightly there where everything in the background just slowly, like it was slowly coming towards me. And um, eye strain kind of got worse there for a day or two. I'd say it take, took about a week to get my eyesight and smells and tastes back to normal. But that's not the thing that's most concerning about this experiment. Now, at the beginning of this video, I talked about how I get really immersed in video games and experiences. I'm, I'm a very emotionally sensitive guy. And a lot of my conclusions about mental health and what the brain does when you're in VR for too long got confirmed when I tried to stream VR another time about a week later after the stream when this happened. Oh my god. So, fuck. It's uh... It's uh... Just after I tried to stream VR again, and I streamed for maybe like two hours, and um, I don't know if it's motion sickness that I'm feeling, but there's just a general sense of, like, 
Like, I don't know. I feel untethered. I feel like disconnected from reality. Fuck. It, oh, like, I don't, I don't, I'm not trying to fucking exaggerate this shit. I feel so fucking weird. Um, I just got done having a fucking panic attack. I finally calmed down, drank some water. Whew. Took off the headset. And I don't know if it was because I was streaming or what. But I didn't feel like... I didn't feel like I was either in the headset or out of the headset. I felt like I was in between. Shit doesn't feel right, man. (laughs) Highly don't suggest this experiment. Highly. In hindsight, my brain had started creating two very distinct versions of reality. Obviously, virtual reality and reality reality. But the problem is being in there for that long for someone like me who gets really emotionally and and immersed and invested, my brain started to not distinguish which reality was more real than the other, was more valid. And I know this sounds like Ready Player One or insert movie reference or book reference here. You tend to not really believe those fantasized versions of the truth could be real, but I'm kind of starting to think it is. This video has taken a while for me to to put out since streaming it is because I needed some time to really assess the long-term effects and whether or not my thoughts were valid at the time, over time, and now. And I can definitely come to the conclusion that Especially if you're someone like me, who maybe has anxiety, depression, a great sense of uh, desire for escapism, you get really immersed or emotionally involved in things, your brain might attach itself to a virtual life. And so my conclusion is that if the technology for VR gets any better and any more comfortable, ah. Could be a pretty scary future for people that stay in it for too long. Society, just problems within your own brain. Kids using this for too long when their brains are still developing. Your brain is so powerful. Even for an old 30 year old man like me, it was really starting to form a new reality. And when I came out of there, after having what I would consider a full dose of the medicine, so to speak. Medicine or poison, depending on how you look at it, to be honest. It could be pretty intense for the future. But, hey, what do you think? Leave a like, comment on the video for poor old me doing this experiment. Please, it's the least I could ask for. (laughs) Especially comment what you think about VR technology, the future, what it's gonna do. I'd love to hear your input. You don't need to spend 24 hours in the thing like I did to have a valid opinion on these sorts of things, but I would be interested to hear what you have to say. Thank you to all my Patreon patrons on the screen right now. The last couple months of transitioning YouTube channels, content, all sorts of stuff. You guys are the backbone and have been keeping me motivated to keep doing what I do and to share it with you guys, the world, streaming, YouTube, all these projects, so thank you. I'm so glad that there are people out there who still love the content that I produce and the stuff that I do. For everyone that came out on the stream on Twitch, and for all those of you who are watching right now, I love you. Man, that was a fucked up experiment. That was so fucked up. I've been wanting to do this experiment for years, ever since I saw somebody do it for the first time on YouTube, and I thought, hey, They could do it, I could do it. And I did, but I wouldn't do it again. (laughs) That is my final conclusion. Subscribe if you haven't already for fitness vlogs and gaming experiments. And I'll see you next time. As always, take deep breaths, smile, and stay mighty.